Otito Drigeso. Uh, Akumeba. To thank God. Thank my father, Bishop. And to thank you. I feel is talking to me specifically. Remind the people of the Lord's goodness in their lives and how he has carried them on eagle's wing. I'm so happy today. So much so that I can't even explain it. I can't even express it. But I thank God for his goodness in my life, for his graciousness to me, and the way he has been carrying me on all this while. So prominently pronounced within these four years of my gracious moment with Nai Bishop. Uh, the Vietnamese, they have a proverb that anytime we are eating a fruit, also, thank God for the person who planted the fruit you are taking. Bishop. Bishop Godfrey Igwebike Ona, the Bishop of Nsoka Diocese. ne Nigeria, and in the whole wide world. Yem Nasigibu Jishike. God will continue to bless you because he has already blessed you. He will continue to lead you because he's already leading you. And you have continued to make yourself available for him to be used. Ken Biajuka this morning. I got five years. Sorry, four years. And some courses in our university requires four years to study them. And at the end of the four years, someone gets a certificate for a particular degree. Uh, I think... I'm qualified to get a certificate from the Episcopal ordination and Episcopal life of our Father Bishop. Yes. My association with you, I've come to know some things about you. And I've also come to know a lot of the passions you have for the work of God in this diocese. And that's why I will just make one comment about Nine Bishop, just one. Then when Christ saw the crowd, he felt so sorry for them. The English word didn't bring out the intensity of the sorriness of Christ in that statement. Omni a Greek version of it. What you have there is splagnizomai. From the verb splagnizoma, which means the whole intestine, the whole liver, the whole lung, the whole heart. He was turned on, he was moved from inside. Ten years ago, he encountered this very diocese. And here is a man who is so much moved from inside. He is so much moved from inside. Bishop. Oh, but the passion, the level of his whole life, his whole being, he has thrown into making Nsoka better. Yes, we can't measure your episcopal life in this diocese by this very edifice. But it's good, you know. It's a representation, a manifestation of the largeness of your heart, the beauty of your episcopacy in this very diocese. He will continue to lead you on. That's the only thing I will tell you today. Secondly, you prayed for me. Thank you very much. You have always wished me well. I know you love me. And you have continued to show me love. Yes, he summoned the apostles to himself. That's very summoned in the deep. So that from Christ, you go to the people. They came close to him, experienced him. Because the beauty of Christianity should be a movement like this, from God to the people. Now, nah, Bishop, you have said a lot of good things. Because when you don't come to Christ to tell you something, 
then you will be a voice without a message, without a content. I am privileged. I am loved. You have summoned me to yourself for these very four years. And in you, I have seen commitment. In you, I have seen courage. In you, I have seen the bishop who is very, very convinced. In you, I have seen a confluence of Western experience and then home background. In you, I have seen compassion. And you told us sometime in the past, he that cannot be converted by love is doomed forever. Yes, you are sending me to another place for another mission. I have seen a lot from you. I have experienced all I need and all that should guide me from you. And I remain eternally grateful to you. Ime. The family of St. Teresa's Cathedral. I can't thank you enough. Ranging from the Cathedral Administrator, Father Ikenna, my brother and friend, Father Kenneth, a close friend also, and an associate. And Father Felix always up there working. Uh, this experience also, you know where it has taken us. I thank you so much. Continue the wonderful work you are doing. God will continue to bless you. A very simple man, very gentle man, so unassuming. You wouldn't even see him doing much, but your work speaks for you. The way you have continued to project our Father Bishop. Chukubagume. And the cathedral parish, you know me. Yes, they gave me money. They gave me money. Yes. If you allow me, I will even bring the money so that you'll be fast to get into that bishop's house. But the truth is that they gave me money. And I thank you. And I'm thanking you all the more because of the love you have shown me. The encouragement. The money you gave me will finish. But as I go, the exalting words, Jishike, Chuku Gozeg, no, I don't go. I kiss you. Don't know you, Bishop. All these words are so lifting, and you have given me a good sense of myself. That is the highest for me. The money will finish, but I always keep these your sacred and holy words around me. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful. Chuku gozu nu kuachu nu go majikuru majina ha Jesus. To our parishioners in social media, I thank you for the association and affiliation you bring. Some of you may be hearing me. Some will log in and listen to the home of our bishop and they will run away. Let it be on record. This very association is like people coming from the west, south, north, and east, like the three wise men. Because you saw a star. Yes. Continue to follow that very star. I am, I've lived with that star for the past four years. And I can assure you, it is a star that is illumined by the Spirit of God. A star that is directed and harnessed by God. If you continue to follow that star, I am assuring you, just like the three wise men that followed the star that led them to Christ, that very star, Nani Bishop Igwebikona, will lead you eventually to encounter God at the end of your life. God bless you for the insulting word, the encouraging word you always share when we are moved by his wonderful preaching. Chuku Gozeonu. To my brother who is taking over from me, Father Henry Atama, yes, he has started so well already. A very calm, calculated, composed gentleman, yes. You don't need to be afraid. You won't even miss me because you will do things better than I have done. God will continue to bless you. You don't need to be afraid. It's a very privileged position, not about where you are, but the immensity of the person you are going to work with. At the end of the day, you really be happy to have associated with this being. Finally, one Irish political analyst, Henry Farewell, will tell us that life is a melange of meeting and parting. And as we meet in life, experiences are shared, joys and shared, laughters and lashes of life are shared. I wish to assure all of you and our Father Bishop in a very special way. I have become a better person. I'm a better human being, I'm a better Christian, and I'm a better priest as a result of my association with you this past four years. My prayer is that God will continue to bless all of you and sustain all of you with his grace through Christ our Lord. Thank you very much.
Otito Derejeso. Mwe Father Paulinus Nekuku. Nos no no nekle no ne jido bishop. Amu guaru no ne jido. Oh no hor. Oh no Mariam na huneka. Well yes. Oh jido rum. Like and does I'm gonna have Bill Mary. And this is one thing I want all of you to know. Some of those who contribute, contribute most to our ministry as priests and bishops may never be known at all. The people we share our day-to-day -day life with who provide us with the serenity we need for the work may be more important than those you notice. And Father Paulinus has done that for four years, and I also thank him personally. My family is here present. The only people not here, I haven't seen my mother. Maybe she was too weak to come. And my siblings who are in Europe, every other person in this country is here. Because Father Paulinus was near to me, but even nearer to the members of my family. Taking care of some of the worries that would have distracted me from my ministry. And they are here also to say thank you and to pray for you and ask God to bless you. There is one aspect of Father Paulinus that you missed the 10 o'clock mass family. His gift as a preacher. Because each time at this mass, he will be opening books for me holding the chalice or the pattern, holding my vestments and my other paraphernalia. And you forget that Father Paulinus is an accomplished preacher. I told you sometimes that some of the things I tell you at Mass in my own homily are things I copied from him at breakfast table. You didn't have the privilege of listening to him directly, but some of his thoughts and reflections you also heard in my own homilies. And on your behalf, we thank him for that. <laughs> 